Now the bent over row, one of the toughest to learn, one of the toughest to teach, quite frankly, because it's very precarious on the low back. You've gotta make sure that you keep your belly in and you're focusing on moving the shoulder blades together, keeping the head completely still. That's extremely difficult, people, so be patient with yourselves. You can get this, just get the setup right, because the setup, quite honestly, it's about half the deal on this one. Okay, so you're gonna start with the feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. You're gonna give yourself a good base here, even wider than that. Yeah, yeah, and then turn the dumbbells here. Now, as you're learning this exercise, to learn this, if you don't have years of experience doing it, this is how you're gonna start it. You can also do this with a, with a pronated grip or the palm down, but that is twice as hard to learn. Very difficult to learn. So you're gonna start here, bring the dumbbells out away from you just a little bit. Now, draw the belly in, stick your butt out, and bend over. But the chest stays up, there. Perfect position here. Notice the back is straight, her head is straight, and her belly's in. Now she's gonna row. The hard part here is to go ahead and row, is to keep the elbows coming away from the body a little bit. And she's not shrugging. She's pulling the shoulder blades together. See the shoulder blade? She's pulling the shoulder blades together. Go ahead and shrug now. Don't do that. It ruins the exercise. Pull the shoulder blades back. How hard are you working, hand? Get the dumbbells a little way away from you. There, now how hard? <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is let the dumbbells come in here. How hard is that? <laughs> Don't do that. Come here, and then keep the dumbbells slightly wider than the elbow, and pull with your shoulder blades. Pull my hands back but keep your belly in. Do not overarch your back. Good job. 